Thursday the 28th of June. I have officially been moved home for over 24 hours. I've done two sleeps here now. And I thought I would just show you my view because it's nowhere near as bad as it was on Tuesday night. Because that was... I couldn't get into my bedroom. Um, but I have had to forcefully unpack a couple of bits to be able to get to my bed. Um, but the rest of it I will be sharing with you. So currently my view is... Um, Here we have piled high three boxes. Which is proving quite useful to store my um, extension cable on. And then we have two boxes there, and then a lot of uh, stuff there. Then moving on to the end of my bed, it goes around and is stacked quite high, as you can see. And then moving along, we have these, and what's in there? Coats, maybe. I was looking for a single pair of shoes and I had to empty an entire bag. Um, but this is the pile, it's the bedding from my bed back in Sunderland and under here, you can't really see, but there is a lot more stuff um, but I have unpacked a couple of bits of clothing in here the one thing that stresses me out about this wardrobe, well a lot of things stress me out but this is really low, so trousers hit the floor, dresses hit the floor, it's not ideal there's all of my jumpers in there. That definitely needs organising. And then I've got my underwear and then my bras and then my tights and socks are in there as well. This needs going through because of course I have a giant thing of vinegar and um, some stuff that I won in a skinny dip giveaway and a parcel from Ellis. And down here, oh, that's really heavy. We have shoes which need going through because I need to be able to fit all of those and then some in there. Also, that one needs organising, but I can't exactly pull that open. Down here, we have three bags of coat hangers, two more bin bags of clothes, and then just my suitcase that I've been needing to use. So, I'm watching Katie's news. This bookshelf will be going. Um, because it's not actually storing much, it's just displaying things. Here is my window. With my bunting. My little yay flag. And just my very unmade bed because I literally just got out of it. And this bookcase may be going as well. Uh, so I need to declutter all of my books because there are a lot. And this shelf is just a mess, as is this one. So now I will take you downstairs and show you what the dining room looks like. Well, not the dining room, like the... We have like two living rooms because we have fancy ass bitches. Um, oh, yeah, I'll have to go and show you that. Also, before I go and show you that, there is actually a cupboard in there. It's very shallow, but I'm going to see what I can do with it. And I also have a couple more of these hooks but they prevent me from closing the door properly unless I pick them up and like push them in. It's inconvenient, but I may put them there instead and like hold my coats and my dressing gown on that door instead, or maybe there. Don't know yet. My bathroom stuff is currently here and here, so that'll need putting away today. I'm not really sure if I want to share this. It's really bad. Okay, we're going in. Ta-da! <laughs> this rug is going to my brother now because he wants it when he moves out. And um, we have my shelving unit here, my little table, my big chest, which I've definitely pulled something whilst moving. Winter stuff, plant pots, um, stationery, little stool, chair, shelves. These are the empty boxes from the kitchen because I did actually already unpack that. And we've got box here, box here, box here. These are charity shop bags here. And then all of this is my stuff. All of this. Fun. Oh, there's my bin. I'm going to take it upstairs. Ooh. 
And like I said a minute ago, I have already unpacked the kitchen. So I'll show you my little kitchen space that I've been allocated. Also, I'll show you the new kitchen because it is finished now. So I've just walked through the store and now all of this wall is painted blue until we get to this bit, which is great. It's absolutely stunning. Our beautiful garden, nice new curtains. All of this bit you'll have seen before, I'm sure. And with all the beautiful cabinets, all painted blue. Um, I love the colour contrast there, I think it's stunning. My favourite bit. We got the new floor. It's so, uh, like, comfortable to walk on. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. So, this cupboard doesn't open the way you'd expect it to. It opens from this side, which is infuriating. But this is my little shelf here for my cups and tea. And I do actually have my tea and sugar pots in here somewhere. It's just a very small cupboard. And then down here, that opens the right way, I have got more cups, my plates, bowls and bits of food. And my pans are down here. Chopping boards and pans and such. And then in here, I have a stash of food here. But it's very nice to be in the kitchen this big again and to have living rooms and to have a TV license because I can now actually watch normal TV and have a garden. And I'm feeling good right now, which I'm hoping will last. And I've also emptied the dishwasher two days in a row and refilled it again. So I'm currently on the hype of dishwashers because I've been without a dishwasher for so long. And now I should probably put a bra on before I start unpacking because things are going to get sweaty. All the beds in the garden is so cute. drawer of shoes that I didn't think I had. Look at that, that's actually full of shoes that I didn't think I had anymore. Shit. So, a humongous shoe decluttering video, oh sorry, <laughs> a humongous shoe decluttering video will be coming soon oh my god this is what happens when your feet don't grow ever since primary school you just keep all the shoes you've ever bought in your life but i have managed to do well my wardrobe's full and i still have one bin bag full of coats which are going on the clothes rail in the loft these are the ones I've not managed to fit in here because this is full now apart from these trouser clips which will be for the other bag of clothes that I will end up finding. That's nearly full. And this is full. Can't fit anything else in there so I have a problem.
fucking knife just landed on my foot. Ow! that is my clothing reel is now up in the loft holding all of my coats and scarves and jackets and everything it probably won't be staying slot bang in the middle of the room um but the sofa bed is currently out so and my mother's playtime wedding dress is there for those of you that don't watch my vlogs and are not familiar with my mother she's a loon her and her friends like to go out in wedding dresses sometimes it's all very funny um but yeah it's um currently my dad's office they keep a lot of books and records in this shelving area here uh more books everywhere else uh so this is like our guest room like people come and stay over here when they come and visit um so it needs a lot of uh organizing to it i am so hot it's unreal um before my beautiful little coat rack can um have a proper home i am dying now me and my bag of coat hangers are going back downstairs. Okay, so today is Thursday. I've not recorded anything from moving vlogs for a couple of days. Because I graduated yesterday, I went back to Sunderland, um, walked across the stadium of light, which was, you know, nearly pissed myself, but I didn't fall, all good. Um, so that was crazy. Um, but I did realise just how much footage I have got and I'm pretty sure it's all time lapses so I have decided there will be more than two moving vlogs I was planning on just doing it leaving Sunderland and arriving in Hull I'm gonna do more than two moving vlogs so this is the end of moving vlog number two also how cute do my nails look they were from Primark of course went with my outfit oh yeah have a look on my Instagram for all of my um, graduation pictures because they're so cute I had the best time anyway moving vlogs um Things have kind of gone to shit. Nothing's actually happened. I'm just not very good at unpacking, it turns out. So, thank you for watching moving vlog number two and hopefully numbers three, four and five because I am assuming there will be a lot more because we're completely rearranging and transforming this room. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one and the previous one where I left Sunderland, which I still cannot watch. I don't think I'll ever be able to watch it back because I'll cry. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy all the ones that are going to follow on from today. Uh, bye.